Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we're going to be doing a full office tour, going over all of the gaming setup equipment that we have right here, all of the products, all of the gear will be linked down below in the description for you. To literally most items you're going to see in this video will be linked down below. So we got all this setup right here behind us. We have two brand new soft boxes that were sent to me by Newer. Massive shout out to Newer by the way for hooking me up with very high end lighting for the office. So these lights actually come with a freaking remote. It's pretty cool, like a little Wi-Fi remote. It has some batteries and everything. So this remote can literally increase and decrease the brightness of these two lights right here. One remote can control both of them. It's pretty nice. We can also increase and decrease the color temperature, but these lights do get pretty bright. Generally, they are set to 10% brightness throughout most of the evening, just to provide a little bit of like, you know, nice background lighting whilst I'm working and stuff. But generally when I'm recording a video in here, both of these lights are gonna be cranked up to 100% brightness, but they do come with a remote and it's pretty handy. So that's the two lights that we have right here. Moving on, we got these Nano Leaf Aurora light panels over here as well. Let me turn the light on uh, just so you can see me a little better. But we have these lovely Nano Leaf Aurora light panels. I'm sure you've seen tons of other YouTubers feature these lights before, like face and stuff, but we essentially just have, you know, a bunch of cool lights on the wall there, as well as this geezer right here. So we got the Oculus Rift headset right here. This is the Oculus Rift S. We got the Does It Have RGB hoodie that you can barely see, but it's right here. And then we have a brand new embroidered tech block logo hat, the new core edition hats that are gonna be coming out very soon. These right here are gonna be the brand new tech block core edition hats, very high quality. Should be going live in the next like month or so. Uh, alongside the actual techblock.co.uk store and website. And yes, I am working on a website, you heard that right. So the techblock.co.uk website, I'm expecting it to hopefully go live either late January or early February alongside hopefully the entire launch of our brand new store. We're not gonna be selling a lot of items to begin with, but the items that we are gonna be selling are going to be very high quality. We have 3D like embroidered hats with a tech block logo. They're very nice. During this launch as well, we are gonna have two products going live that are very special. Uh, it is a champion tech block hoodie. Uh, yes, you heard that right. A champion hoodie with a tech block logo stitched in, 3D embroidered, like top quality stuff. The hoodie, I have one myself. It's currently dry because I just put it in the laundry. But I'm telling you guys, that tech block champion hoodie you're gonna love it. If you buy one, I'm telling you right now, that thing is amazing, very high quality. The hoodie will keep you warm. It's champion, man. And on top of that, we got a Tech Block logo stitched in. Like, I'm very excited about that hoodie to go live. Oh my God, dude, it's so good. Like, it's genuinely a product that I'm so, so happy about. Like, because the quality is good, man. The quality is good. Alongside that hoodie as well, we also have a Tech Block Times Champion t-shirt going live as well. Just a simple uh, Tech Block logo stitched in to the side of your champion t-shirt. It's gonna be dope as hell. But that's pretty much all the info I have right now about the store. Stay tuned for any future updates that I'll probably announce like on social media and on YouTube, of course, once the store actually goes live. Anyway, getting back to like this corner right here. Yeah, we got a hat, a Oculus Rift S headset. Shout out to Oculus for sending that out. And then we got a lovely Tech Block Does It Have RGB hoodie right here that you can buy right now over on the Tech Block merch store hosted on Teespring. So if you wanna go pick up some lovely merch, cause these designs might not be available anymore once the, um, the new store goes live, so bear that in mind. But yeah, if you wanna go pick up any merch right now, link in the description down below, of course, to the merch store. Moving on though from the Nano Leaf Aurora light panels, behind the door when you walk in, there is um, this like bin type thing that we use for recycling. So this is currently like pretty damn full. We have to empty that bin. But moving on to the actual storage area, which is all the way over here, just past this wall, we got the setup. And then over here, we got the storage area as well as kind of like the server room and where the robots hang out. So over here, we have a Synology Disk Station 1618 Plus. This is a six bay NAS. Massive shout out to Synology for of course sending this out to me and hooking up the entire channel with long-term file storage. Then we have a WD 4 terabyte external hard drive here as well uh, that I've been using recently because I've kind of maxed the server out. So I offloaded a bunch of files from this, I think it's like a 16 terabyte server onto this four terabyte hard drive that I bought on Amazon for dirt cheap. 
On top of this server, we have a little charging station going on, basically a AA slash AAA battery recharger that we have right here. Currently, there's no batteries inside here. Then beside it, we have my Canon G7X Mark II battery charger as well. Beside the server though, we also have this lovely little clock right here. Uh, this clock can do a whole lot of things. I made a dedicated video about these products on my channel already, so if you want to go learn more about this wonderful little device, because they have so many different features, you can play Tetris on this, there's a bunch of different lighting effects, it's essentially just a very, very customizable LED clock type thing, but it also comes with an extremely high-end speaker. This thing, I kid you not, gets very loud, there's a subwoofer built in and everything. It's not the cheapest item in the world, but the speaker quality and the actual, you know, visual appearance of the product, I really like. So. We got this thing right here and I think it's trying to set a timer or something. So yeah, there's that area. Moving on to what we actually have like inside of these shelves and on top of the shelves and everything because let me tell you, there's a lot of products here. Uh, a lot of them happen to be Razer as you can probably imagine. But if we look right here, we have a lovely Ryzen 7 CPU box. Uh, Razer Mamba Hyperflux mice and mouse mat combos and stuff. We got some more stuff from Newer that I still have to unbox. Shout out to Newer once again because they literally sent so much more filming equipment for me. Thanks guys. So we got a bunch of Razer stuff here, Ryzen CPU. Over here we also have a few of the keyboards that I have. So we got the Cooler Master MK850 video coming soon. And then all of these Razer keyboards that I've already made videos about. Moving up here we got the Razer Firefly V2. Razer's brand new mouse mat. We got the Razer Mamba I think this is the Hyperflux version, yes it is, so that's just sitting there for some reason. But we have the Razer Firefly V2 packaging here, the M-Drill 1 RGB microphone, HyperX, Pulse Fire Surge mouse, uh, just, you know, a bunch of mice basically. <laughs> Two Razer headsets are here as well, the newly released Kraken Ultimate, uh, Nari Ultimate here as well. And then behind these headsets we got basically a bunch of like cooling equipment, all-in-one liquid coolers, fans, all sorts of lovely stuff. But that pretty much covers like most of it I suppose because the rest of this stuff, you know, there's a bunch of boxes up there. If we go ahead and turn off the actual lighting in this room, uh, all we have left is this RGB LED light strip that I've mounted on top of the shelving here, which I really do think makes this room a lot more cool. And yeah, just, you know, having a bit of RGB on your shelves, why not man? I think this looks dope as hell. So we got some RGB up there, but as for all these other shelves, uh, some of them are empty. We got some like plumbing equipment and stuff there, uh, like some screws, my karambit knife, cleaning equipment, you know, nothing crazy, but that's kind of the storage area. If you're wondering how Toby's doing and Toby and his new best friend, we got two robots right here. Uh, these are my vacuum robots. They can roam around the house and do all your vacuuming for you. It's a good time. So we got those geezers right there. And I think we should probably move on and cover the majority of the stuff in the actual setup, as I'm sure that's what most of you are fascinated about. But the reason I showed you all that stuff first in the storage area is because the storage area has never looked so clean before. But I spent quite a few hours this morning tidying this entire storage area up making sure it all looks tidy, giving the whole place literally like a makeover because we didn't have this guy here before, but now we do. And I feel like adding bits and pieces around the office just like this, I don't know, it, like it kind of adds a lot to the room. Like we've got like this mannequin dude wearing a tech block hat and the Oculus headset. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking when I built that thing, but it's staying with us, all right? It's staying with us. Anyway, moving on to the actual setup right here. Everything is sitting on top of the IKEA Linmon desk. Pressing the card right now on the screen if you want to go watch my video dedicated to that desk. I've been using them for years. Uh, not the most high quality thing on earth, but gets the job done and they're very, very inexpensive. Moving on to the rest of the stuff here though, we have a lovely custom built PC right here inside of the Razer Edition Lian Li PC 011 Dynamic PC case. Basically, it's just an RGB monster. As for the specs, in case any of you are wondering, they are linked down below in the description, but I will go over a few of the main ones for you right now. An RTX 2060 graphics card, courtesy of NVIDIA, a Ryzen 7 2700X CPU, 32 gigs of Team Group Delta RGB RAM, uh, just a bunch of RGB fans, ASUS motherboard, XPG storage, I don't even know what else to cover, man. It's a very nice little PC, gets the job done. So that's the PC that we're dealing with right here. As you can probably see beneath the table though, the cable management is excellent. And if we go beneath here, as you can see, yeah, like the cable management, I am very happy about it. Uh, for the most part, it is very good. You literally can't see any cables when you look beneath the desk. So very happy about that. As for the main monitor that I'm currently using in this setup, that is the BenQ EX3501R. 
Very nice display here, 100 hertz, 3440 by 14 p resolution. Well, I think it's like a four millisecond response time. It's a VA panel. It's a very nice monitor. So that's my main display used for gaming and everything. And of course, editing. Then we have a secondary display right here, also from BenQ. Shout out to BenQ for sending out these displays, by the way. This is the EL2870U. It's a 4K panel, AMD FreeSync, one millisecond response time but it is only a 60 hertz display. The 4K BenQ monitor I think costs around 300 pounds nowadays and then the ultra wide monitor has actually dropped in price quite a lot. I think it costs around 525 pounds on Amazon as of, you know, making this video. But yeah, that's that. Just below the monitors here, we have the Lemetric Time YouTube sub counter slash clock timer. It can do a bunch of cool stuff. So usually it's just set to the uh, YouTube sub counter and we've passed 100,000 subscribers. It is insane. So expect to, so, and we've passed 100,000 subscribers on the channel, which absolutely blows my mind. Thank you all so much for watching these videos, for supporting the channel. It's been insane. I've literally been making videos, I think since like 2010 or 2011 on YouTube. I'm 20 years old now, so I started when I was a little kid, but over the last couple years, we've actually managed to grow the channel to 100,000 subscribers, which literally is a dream come true. YouTube has always been like my dream job that I've always wanted as a kid growing up, and it blows my mind, genuinely blows my mind that somehow like we've made it happen, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you all so much for watching these videos. It genuinely means the world to me. So yeah, we got that clock right there. Thanks for 100,000 subscribers. As for the peripherals and everything, we got the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard decked out with RGB, Razer Firefly V2, Razer Viper Ultimate Mouse, Razer Basilisk Ultimate Mouse. We have a lovely Team Razer coaster right here that usually sits beneath the middle BenQ monitor. We have my Elgato Stream Deck down here as well, a little phone stand, my uh, Razer Nari Ultimate wireless pair of headphones right here. This pair of headphones, honestly, like still to this day, by far my favorite headset I've ever owned in my entire life. It's the best thing ever. Trust me on this. Uh, but the battery life on this thing, not very good. So just uh, be aware that, you know, you might have to be charging it a lot. But apart from the battery life problems, the range, everything else about it, it's amazing. Would highly recommend it. Just above the 4K BenQ monitor, we also have these lovely RGB LED light panels that are mounted on the wall. I simply just stuck these on the wall, but these offer some very advanced lighting effects. They're very bright, powered by USB. They are absolutely amazing. Would highly recommend more of you actually buy these and put them in your gaming setups because they look so sick, man. And they even integrate with things like the Elgato Stream Deck so you can actually control those light panels right there via your Elgato Stream Deck. So they offer some very good integration. And if you want to go buy any of them, I'll leave a link down below in the description to both Amazon and the Colo Light website. If you buy it on their website, be sure to use code TB10 to save yourself 10% off when buying these lovely Colo Light light panels for your gaming setup or wherever you choose to put them. But those are the light panels there. And then finally, we have the lovely chair that I sit in all the time. This is from a company called GT Omega. I'm sure you've heard of them, but the chair that I use right here is the GT Omega Sport in black and white. It is by far their best chair that I've sat in because I have owned quite a few GT Omega chairs in my time, but they do sponsor the channel. And if you want to buy anything on the GT Omega website, use code TECHBLOCK for, I think it's like 5% off. Uh, most of their products on their site. So if you want to go buy yourself a lovely chair, the one that I'd recommend is of course the GT Omega Sport in black and white leather. Anyway guys, I'm gonna get going. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. If you want to go buy anything featured in today's video, as always, all the links will be down below in the description. All right, apart from that guys, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.